Jesus. Science and technology now in high tech. Marine experts in Denmark have come up with a simple way of reducing costs and, more importantly, pollution in the gas-guzzling world of shipping. The DK Group claims its technology, called Air Cavity System, could reduce fuel consumption by up to 15%. What it does is create an air cushion between the ship's hull and the water. The man behind the idea is Jörn Winkler. His team are carrying out tests in labs just north of Copenhagen. He says that ships use up a great deal of fuel and that a 10% reduction would be a very positive step. Using a model, researchers are calculating the effect of water resistance on a ship's hull. The submerged part of the ship creates friction as it travels through the water. This friction requires more energy to drive the ship. We want to reduce the friction, says Winkler. By lifting up the ship, we create a void from the front of the ship all the way to the other end. The system injects air through compressors into an air cavity at the base of the specially designed hull. The resulting layer of air between hull and water allows the ship to glide with much less resistance. Less energy is needed to push the ship forward, meaning less fuel and therefore less pollution. Increased air traffic is blamed for much CO2 pollution. But shipping is an even bigger offender. The world's ships produce around 5% of all CO2 emissions. That's twice as much as all the world's airplanes. A demo should be ready by the autumn, with the company hoping to have a seaworthy system on the market within the next few years.